We are returning to FTL to play as the rock ship. Uh, we have scoops, walker, and mineral. They're minerals, not rocks, of course. We have Artemis and the hull missile. Uh, we have, honestly, one of the more difficult ships of all of all of the ones that I've played. I still have yet to beat the game as Lanius, Rock, and Stealth Cruiser, and then that helps you unlock the unidentified cruiser, which I actually do not spoil the game for myself. So let's go ahead and start. Hopefully we will not have god-awful RNG like we usually do. Um, which was quite bad. Oh, already we have pretty bad RNG. Let's go ahead and put the hull missile first, and we'll put Artemis there. I'm thinking Artemis will go for their guns, and then I think the hull missile is just going to go for an empty room, because uh, since the first time I played this run, I have learned that the hull missile does double damage on systemless rooms, which isn't really good, but you kind of want it as a finisher, just like take out the whole enemy ship really fast if you can. Um, and we can just basically ignore shields, although we go through missiles so fast. I'm actually going to take this surrender offer because five missiles and a bunch of fuel is rather useful for us. I would consider that a rather good first fight, and we didn't even waste more missiles. 31 missiles now? Honestly, not bad. Let's jump before that solar flare hits us. Already we're off to better RNG, though, than we were in the first fight. Uh, we will investigate the battlefield. Ooh, also good RNG. Wow. I mean, you need something. The last time we played, we just had horrible RNG. Now, I don't love these guns. I prefer Burst Laser Mark IIs. Thank you, God. You have answered my prayers. Um, I'm not that crazy about... You know, I don't think that Artemis is an endgame gun. Hull missile could potentially be an endgame gun if we just have to totally take out an enemy ship really fast and we don't have any other way. So I oh think... Me thinks let's get rid of... This was my name in uh, college. Thank you, Peace Bloom. Man, that is actually a great name. Why don't I name my channel that? Amborgulus Amphibigai. Oh, rock plating is completely useless, so we'll just get rid of it. Okay, rock. I'm going to use this to say rock as many times as possible. Also, they have hacking, but there's a better chance that we'll find hacking later on. Just the burst laser Mark II is basically the best gun in the game. It's my favorite thing. Um, battery charger. Backup batteries locked. Time is halved. Um, not crazy about that. Zoltan shield bypass. Just too specific. Um, heavy laser and S-bomb. Am I going to sell these weapons? I figure if I don't have anything better, let's just keep these guns on because there are more options. Um, do I buy any more of these things? We all, we're doing pretty good on fuel right now. But it never really hurts to have a little bit more fuel. But I want to conserve money at this part in the game because there's still many opportunities. So I will leave it at that. I think let's just kind of make our way, snake our way over to the exit. That was an unbelievably lucky first um, store. I am just honestly amazed right now. Okay, these people are already powering up to leave. Whoops. Um, actually, let's just leave it with the hull missile for right now, only because these guys are trying to escape. This is very good flexibility amongst weapons. Uh, oh, the no, this is actually not even that good a weapon. I'm just kind of in a rush with these guys. Let's go Artemis on their engines, just because we need a quick way of powering down their engines. And then we'll do the hull missile. I'm not going to do the hull missile on their hull, unfortunately, right here. Well, let's see where this thing strikes. I'm thinking we'll use up three missiles this fight. Ooh, that wasn't too particularly good. Okay, good. We got a hit. Uh, hull missile, then. I think I will send... Uh, yeah, we just want to take down their guns. And then Artemis will send here. I will use the burst laser later, but we're going to need a little bit more to get it useful. I hate to say it. Actually, let's do this. That there, and then we'll shoot Artemis at their guns. Because Artemis is going to be ready before you know it. Nice. It's just so much that you got to bank on that one missile, though. Okay, now I will shoot... I'm just in a rush with this ship. I have, like, a lot of nervous energy about me as I'm doing this. Let's power that down, power on the burst laser, and we'll shoot that at their shields. Really, at anything. It doesn't matter. Just Artemis in that. Yeah, even just do that. Okay, cool. Nice. It works. Now, again, the whole missile isn't really useful for utility. It's just kind of a good takedown. 
So it's like high risk, high reward. Not really my preferred play style. I'd like to have a more reliable combat plan. But we had great RNG to start, so I'm not going to complain about it. I think we go one, two, three, four, five, six if we can, or maybe squeeze in seven. Just want to keep it pretty simple. All right, uh, unremarkable total waste of a beacon. That is quite sad. Hmm. Time you notice that. Uh, let's see. Here we go. All right, so we have another burst laser ship. Okay, I guess we'll be going Artemis for the shields, and then we'll shoot the burst laser for... We're going to want to wait just slightly longer to shoot the burst laser to see if it gets through, and then we'll try to shoot for their guns. That way we get a good hit on their guns. Um, or their drone here, even. Let's just see if this hits. Good, it did hit. Okay, now we shoot the lasers. Great, their guns are down. Okay, now we want to go for their drones. And then let's shoot Artemis at their either their engines or their pilot. Well, I don't really know here. Actually, what should we shoot it for? Eh, let's go for their engines to prevent them from fading. And the pilot. Engines and pilot are good for ending the evasion chance. Good. Okay, that's the kind of fight I want. Like, use up maybe one missile and then get a good barrage of lasers in, and then kill them. And I think that's what we want. That's, like, honestly desirable. Hmm. Okay, good. Uh, laser blasts aid the civilian ship. Okay, good. So we have another Zoltan here. I think we're going to go for the same kind of battle plan here. Whoops, I forgot to repair the medical bay. Honestly, medical bay is not going to be that important here, so we'll just live with it. Artemis is going to go for shields again. Or we'll just do a single fire on that. Okay, and then depending upon whether or not that goes through, we kind of waste some time here, and I don't love that. Ooh, oxygen is down. Uh, get out of there. You know, also you get out of there. We need that oxygen back on now. Like, otherwise, we we dead. And let's have our burst laser as our first powered gun. Though, honestly, I would take... Nah, don't even waste the missile with Artemis. We're going to win this one easy. We just got kind of unlucky there. I think that the next thing we want to do is avoid taking a lot of damage if we find that there's no more good weaponry in this system. So let's go ahead and check out this store fast. Cool. We got the five hold points repaired. We have way better RNG in this run. It, it was like the world's worst RNG run the last time. Although I survived a long time, so I had to suffer through the bad RNG and it made me feel bad. Medical Bay. <laughs> do rock people need oxygen? Um, I believe that they do. Who is it that doesn't... I think it's... Is it the Lanius that don't need oxygen? Wait, am I wrong about that? Am I wrong about that, guys? Correct me if I'm wrong. Rock men do need oxygen, right? Hang on a second. Let's test it. Open the... Open space. See? He's suffering. You made this happen. Wouldn't he just get sucked out into the vacuum of space? Or maybe there's like some sort of portal there. Like a magical portal. You remember back in uh, 1969 when scientists used magic to get out into space? Crazy, right? To think that magic has come so far. Uh, let's see. I don't think we're going to get another opportunity to get about into space. I'm not making words anymore. I'm just so focused on FTL because I love this game so much. Uh, not my favorite things. Shield charge booster. If we could get that weapon pre-igniter again, that was the one bit of good RNG that kept me in the last run. Keeps a, leaves a false signal at a sec, which is a fantastic item, by the way. I don't really think that's that good. Uh... Ooh, shield recharge rate booster. But it's not useful against missiles, though, is the one thing. Standard but powerful missile. Um, Hermes is not bad. Hermes is pretty good. But I kind of like our hull missile and Artemis better, I want to say. Or was it Pegasus? I want to say that there's one called Pegasus that I like even better. Was that the one that we had last time? I think. Yeah. Ion Blast 2 is good, but expensive energy-wise. 
I'm not that crazy about ion. I prefer lasers. We do have another rock person, though. It is a good idea to invest in crew members early. But also cloaking. Now, here's my thing. I think that hull missile could be useful at the end of the game. If you have, like, no backup plan and you have to take out a ship fast. But that's never how it works in this game. So I'm pretty much willing to sell that as soon as we find something worth buying. Um, I just don't really like... Yeah, hull missile is also not that great here. So, unfortunately, a pretty bad straw. The question is, do I get Lissandra? Let's just go ahead and see what the jump will bring us. I think... Yes, let's get another crew member just because I don't want this to be in vain. Also, Kobol Stromo, thank you very much for the raid. How was your guys' stream? What were you guys playing? Thanks for sending your people over here. Do you guys like FTL? Ooh, we got a good run this time. I'm thinking we buy Lissandra. And then, you know, just in case if there's any other random events. I really just don't see myself using this whole laser. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, do we buy more fuel? I still think we're good at 19. Jump. I think it's going to calm down after this, but... Uh, wait a second, I'm just going to put my fingers up to the screen. It's so iffy. I think we're going to make it, so I want to visit one more, and then we'll go to the exit. FTL was my life years ago. Oh, I love FTL. I'm so happy that you like it. The automated platform seems to be damaged. You can likely steal. Um, steal it. Okay, cool. We've stolen five fuel. Ooh, we're bad. We're evil space pirates stealing fuel. Basically the enemies in uh, Metroid. Intelligent life forms on any... Um, oh, intelligent life forms. Oh, let me just remember. Um, <laughs> let me just remember. But way back in my brain... Um, oh, what was it? Uh, ooh, oh, I gotta remember back here. Is this another 50-50 event? Oh, no, there is a potential... I'm pretty sure that we could lose a crew member in this event, right? Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. If, if my memory serves me right... Um, I do believe that this one is not okay. Wait a minute, but we can investigate though, right? Okay, yeah, we could investigate. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, communicating peacefully. <laughs> I remember this. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Okay, cool, yes. Okay, so we get the NG. This one is fine. Woo, thank God that I remembered that. Oh, and now we have two new crew members. Huzzah! We are saved. Ah. Thank God for my awesome memory. Uh, I think I'm going to put the NG in there. And let's go ahead and take this rock and put him on... I want to say doors? You're on door duty, rock man. Okay, this is actually decent if they do board us. Scanners is also decent. I'm going to go ahead and just take this opportunity. Uh, we'll go to the next sector. Uh, this side looks a little bit safer, especially early on. Yeah, we'll do this. Uncharted Nebula. I kind of hate Nebulas, but whatever. Right. Um, I'm thinking... Uh, we kind of want to see what this Nebula has to offer, but also we want to invest in our own kind of health care here. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a tricky Nebula. Um, everything is pretty much going to be unknown. I'm thinking we're going to be better off if we just buy some extra shields right here. Get another power bar to take some of that off of engines and just invest in the shield. This will defend us in case if anything goes horribly awry in this system. Just because we need some sort of defense so we don't pay for our ship's repairs all the time. Um, attack the pirate. Yeah, always fight. Okay, cool. We have Artemis again. Me thinks we go straight for the shields again, see how it does, and then take out the burst laser. The only flaw in this strategy is, like, it takes a minute to see if the burst laser is going to be worth it. But I think that this is basically the best we can do. Oh no, the oxygen is offline. That's exactly what I was hoping would not happen. Uh, though we do fortunately have an NG right by there. I think we could take him off the shields for a second. Okay, they are trying to escape now. Uh, we will use our burst laser on their engines. I didn't want that to happen. 
And we'll use our missile on their pilot. Oh god, we're gonna need another guy in there. Hang on a second, this is really bad. Now we are going to want to get another point on our oxygen system pretty soon because like we're in danger of this happening by virtue of what we've picked, but let's just see if we get the scrap to do it. And cool, we did get some scrap. Okay, go back to the doors, go back to that. Uh, and they actually did not take any damage. Wow, that's pretty lucky. Surprising. We'll save their positions. This is the reason I dislike Nebulae. Nebulae. Clan War. Clean War. Thank you very much for the three months of subbing. Thank you. Which act are we at? We're act, act two, I want to say. Okay, now there is a lot of damaging stuff here. Um, I think I'll take out their guns, and then let's have the burst laser. Actually, let's just have everything shoot their guns. I don't want to get shot. Oh, wait a minute. No, there's no danger of these people even hurting me. I'm pretty sure we could just use these guys to kind of farm experience right here, right? Wait a minute. Yeah, we could. I'm pretty sure that we could. Hang on a second. Yeah, let's not let's not miss this opportunity. Uh, we will prevent them from escaping, and then... Yeah, these guys can't damage us. Hang on a second. Power down Artemis and just let's farm them. Um, like, we want to keep their pilot and engine offline. We could do a better job farming if we had hacking, but let's just take the opportunity to train up our shields a little bit. Um, yeah, see, he's gaining shield experience. Good. That's what we want. That's what we want. Because they've just got, like, a whole missile laser. Uh, I can't remember what you call that thing. I think it's a pike beam. But then they've got this drone just shooting one of our shields down. So we uh, can just prolong this fight slightly. And that will be to our advantage. Actually, we could just do that. Power it down. Yeah, just let our shields gain experience. Charge our shields faster. Although we don't want them getting away either. See, they're like slowly repairing their engine. Okay, now I will turn back on the burst laser. I should have had that thing ready. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we don't want them to get away. Mini laser. Thoughts on Starfield? Am I going to play it? Ooh, yeah, I want to play Starfield. Actually, that's one of the things I want to do over the next couple of weeks. Um, hopefully this week. I just feel like streaming a lot. I've been making a lot of content lately, so now I want to kind of bring it back to the... I don't know, like to the gaming, you know? I find I get a lot of good ideas on stream, and I just haven't done them yet. Do you like Starfield? I've been avoiding all the spoilers. Black Market Weapon, um... Unknown. I probably wouldn't do that anyway. Yeah, let's attack these people. We might actually manage to get a decent weapon here. Wow. Amazing. Let's just take out your weapons with everything we've got. Actually, Artemis fires just like a touch faster than our burst laser. Oh, I wonder if we could do this combo. Let's just shoot them together. Missile goes. Uh, that was kind of a waste. Yeah, the lasers hit it first, but at least we tried it. Artemis will go for that again. Um, now Artemis will fire a lot faster, so let's shoot the laser at something different. Actually, let's keep on shooting their weapons, just because I don't want them to have weapons against us. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no, I feel like they're going to have better stuff on board this ship. Oh, wait a minute. Unless if... Did I prevent them from escaping? Hopefully they won't escape. They could probably escape if they have good, fast FTL charging. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Yes. The worst of my fears did not materialize. Good, we got a little bit more scrap. I was hoping we would get, like, a whole weapon system from it, but... Alas! Yea, verily, we cannot have everything we want all the time. Methinks we keep going. Sunless Sea. Oh, I haven't played Sunless Sea. I like that, though. Or, I like the look of it. I, I had seen that a while back, actually. Okay, let's see. We have a burst laser. Ooh, they have a very good gun on their ship. This is actually a really fantastic ship. We, I am afraid of this. We will not be farming this one. Chat was bombarding you with Starfield Bethesda glitches. Yeah, that's my fear. I'm afraid if people will make me not like the thing when I get to it. You know? I, I like to experience it like a boy, you know? Like a boy. Playing a game for the first time. 
Now, the one thing I'm noticing with this ship is that we're using up a lot of missiles. Let's just make sure there's no fire in that room whenever we get hit with a missile. Okay, cool, decent. Let's go in with the burst laser. I don't think these people are going anywhere anytime soon. Weapon pre-igniter would be pretty, pretty cash money here. Let's go for the shields, actually. I don't think these guys are going to survive. Ooh. Ooh. Explosions. Uh, should we invest in more stuff now? We don't really have any more money to put it toward. We don't have any, sh like, stores over here, though, either. So I think it's probably more worth it just to s invest in the survivability of our ship. Uh, shields, we're in a, like, an ion storm right here, so that's not good. I'm thinking let's just invest in more... We could get a third layer of shield, and that would be ridiculously OP right now, but what if we run into a gun we want soon? That's just my, like, my fear at the bottom of it all. Let's go maybe one more and see if we can find a store. Let's just go here. Hmm, manually search the wreckage. Uh, yeah, we want to manually search. Oh no, uh, we lost a cr Ooh, we lost our gunner. I didn't actually know that that could happen from that event. That is bad. Um, I like having an NG on the shield, so I think I'm just gonna- Fortunately, this is why we got another crew member earlier. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we did find a store. Okay, thank goodness that I did this. Uh, I think we have a lot of time before these enemies appear, though. So I think... One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, that might be a bit much. Let's just go straight to the store. I'm trying to, like, gauge how far away they are and how much time we have left. Uh, unfortunately, not the guns I wanted. Unfortunately... Ooh, uh, scrap recovery arm. Actually, scrap recovery arm is quite good. What act are we on again? Um, I want to say, are we on three? I think we're on the third system. It might be too late, but this can be a bomb attachment. It's going to take a little bit of time. Pipe, pipe beam could be good. Mm, I don't really like these types of augmented weapons like after you take down their shields because I find that if you get yourself into the position where they don't have it... Oh, we are in two. Okay, then I will definitely get the scrap recovery arm. Thank you for saying that. I like our weapon systems as they are right now. I think man on an NG if we had a... Uh... Yeah, an NG is really good as a crew member. Seeing as we lost that one crew member. It was kind of an extra crew member though. I do like an NG though. What else could we get? Buy, we could fix. It's not really going to be worth it even to fix. I think we're good on every other thing. Mind control crew. To I don't really want any of these attachments either. And it's going to be a while before we find them. Something. I think we take... Um, immune to mind control could be useful. All those slugs, I'm not crazy about. Not so crazy about them. Mm. Oh, my chat disconnected again. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to get man on. Okay, man on. Man on. <laughs> man on. Man on. All right, there we go. Yeah, my internet keeps going down today. It is a very bad day for the internet and me. Let's just continue as if that didn't happen and ignore it completely for a little longer. And then eventually I'll figure it out. You can't see anything through the thick grasses surrounding your ship without... Right. Oh, gases, not grasses. <laughs> I've been spending so much time today mowing the lawn that I forget. That not everything is the lawn. Oh, cool. We got a, uh alien event. Oh, I actually had a lot more time, but I have a little bit of time to explore these other sections. Or sectors. <laughs> oh my gosh, a sector. Wow. I think we go one, two, three. I really had more time than I thought I did, but at least I can do it without the nebula. I hate the nebula. Ooh, something that we can sell. Honestly, not that bad. I might even... Well, we'll have a lot of money for the beginning of the next galaxy. We might find a... Uh, in the next sector, we might find a good store. 
It's good to invest in like engines when we get further on. Oh, we didn't have our uh, thing turned on. Here we go. I think we jump one more time. Let's go ahead and just not spend any of the money for a little bit longer. Try to save up the money in case if you get something good. Okay, yeah, we're going to take out this rebel ship. Attack the rebel scum. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're the re... Wait a minute. I can't remember who is the rebels in this game. I forget all the canon of FTL now that I've played it again. It's been so long. So we give Artemis a second to fire, and then we go in with the lasers. Oh, awesome. Wow, that was cool. I think we could keep on using, uh... I think we could use another missile or two. Anything over 30 missiles is like a copious amount of missiles. Ooh, they're offering six missiles. That's actually a great offer, not gonna lie. That's a fantastic offer. I am going to take that. Normally I wouldn't, but it's a good offer. So much good RNG in this game. And the scrap recovery. The one thing I guess we missed out on is the scrap recovery arm. I think that's only if you kill the enemy ship, but... All right, let's see if we can locate a store. Let's try to get to as many systems as we can. All right. Uh, hmm. Okay, we're going to have to deal with all their crap to start this one, but at least the burst laser is pretty good for punching through these Zoltan shields. Let's also go ahead and save our crew positions. Might have been a blessing in disguise that our rock crew member died. Uh, it's not really great to lose your gunner early. Gunner, pilot, and engine are, along with shields, are pretty essential positions, though. Our shield guy got a lot of experience when we farmed him on that one fight. Okay, cool. Uh, let's take out their guns with the burst laser. Okay, we really have taken out their shields now. We're good, guys. Uh, yeah, we will use Artemis. It's not really... Alright, we're good. I mean, this is a decent weapon combo. There are better ones. I would prefer two burst lasers or something like that, but we'll live with it as it is. Uh, okay, I will respond to a distress beacon. I'm going to keep some of the money if I... Just because I'm not really having any trouble with combat, we did great in it. Oh no, this is bad. Uh, interfere and help the Zoltan ship. Interfere and help the Z Mantis ship. Uh, I like the Zoltans maybe better. So I'm going to do that. Mm, shields, guns. Am I allowed to say that I like the Zoltans better than the Mantis? Is that bias of me? Wait a minute. No, we are rock. I like only rock. Hate everyone but rock this playthrough. <laughs> uh. Okay, hang on a second. You go in here. Actually, both of you go in here. Well, wait until the fight is over, actually. Take down their shields. Yeah, these guys are just screwed. I think they're just going to get attacked, killed by an asteroid or something now. Please die to an asteroid. I love it when that happens. We have so many missiles. It's like humorous. We are getting great RNG this time. Like, it's almost too good that I feel guilty because the last time our RNG was so bad. It was awful. It was hor- Wait a minute. No, I want those shields online. Okay, there we go. Good. Everyone back to your positions. A little bit of a tricky situation here on this asteroid field. I think we could probably invest in another power, though, for now, so that we get the engine online. Oh, wait, no. We're, all over it. we're also in danger. I forgot about that. Let's make our way this way to see more stars. Hmm. I bet AA hasn't even played RimWorld. Such a noob. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Basically, I feel like I played RimWorld for a job for about a year. <laughs> I love RimWorld. I think it's my, f I think it's the best ever. Maybe it and Minecraft are like the two best ever designed games. I'll put a little bit of power in because now we're starting to get like excess funds. I don't want to have this number go too high, but I want to save it in case if we do encounter a store where we find something really good.
Hmm. I've actually played more RimWorld than anyone has ever. I am like Rim Earth. As it happens. Actually, I played the most RimWorld of anyone. I like that game. It's a very good game. It was like an objectively perfect game. It, I mean, it's it's more of like a simulation. The one... Ooh, hang on a second. Ooh, oh yeah, I forgot to upgrade our... I forgot again to upgrade our oxygen. Fortunately, now we have one non-essential crew member, though. Um... You know what? No, die. I will not accept your surrender. We're going to win this fight so unambiguously now. Like, why would we let you live? I'm sorry if that sounds kind of harsh. I mean, like, yeah, they're going to try to get away now, but they still have to repair their engines, so screw them. I mean, if they do escape, I'll be sad. Which there is a good chance that they might... They did not escape. I am happy now. We Screw you. We get your stuff. I mean, otherwise, I do hate Ion Galaxies because they can kill everyone very fast. We should probably get the next level of oxygen. Just because this is going horribly. Um, unfortunately, we have not been able to upgrade anything for a while just because we've always been endangered. Jesus Christ. Okay, we are jumping now. Everyone back to positions. Jump. Ooh, a store! Okay, we're going directly to the store. We have a lot of money. Hopefully it'll be a good store and this will basically be the dub. Oh, oh my gosh. This is kind of wild. Ooh. 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 Ooh, do you see what I see? Ooh. Ooh. This is good. This is good. Ooh. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. Yeah, we are getting a flat gun mark two. Is it flat gun mark one or mark two that people like? I'm not honestly sure, but flak takes down one layer of shield and flak goes quite well with the burst laser, I think. It does require th three charge shots, but I mean, I got to get some other gun sooner or later. So awesome. Um, damage per room hit. The one thing about the glaive beam, the glaive beam looks really cool. Um, is one better than two? Flak one is the best. Ah, oh, darn it. What does flak one shoot? Does it shoot three? This one shoots seven for a cost of three, though. Everything here is good. What we could do would be to shoot the flak, basically take down the shield. Charge time 25 seconds. That just feels so fragile to me, though. Like, don't get me wrong. It's awesome. I bet you that it would utterly wreck some ships in a second. But I think... Oh, the charge time on the flag too. Oh, it is 21 seconds. I will take it. And I will save it if we don't find something better. If we get a weapons pre-igniter, it's game over. We won. Because it shoots seven things, and that's crazy. But this won't be able to get through the capital ship's uh, three shields, I'm pretty sure it has. Or is it four? I can't remember. It's a lot of shields that the final ship has, and I am afraid of that. Um, glaive beam, I just don't really like. I like a lot of projectiles at a ship. But I'm not going to invest in this right now. I'm going to sell back the defense drone, because I don't really use drones in these runs. Um, and that's about it. Flak is okay. Otherwise, this was just kind of decent. I'm saying, though, here, uh, this wasn't that good. This is a decent store at best. Let's go ahead and start to upgrade our ship. I think it's a good time to do it. All right. Um, what we could do, let's just go ahead and power on our other shield. I'm thinking a good thing to do would be to just get another system of oxygen just so that we don't all instantly die if they shoot this. That would be one dumb way to die. Uh, we give a little bit more power to that. We don't really need to power up the extra oxygen, though. Um, store. Uh, no ship purchasing. Me thinks we want to invest in all of our weapon systems. If we do that, then we get this. Now we can shoot flak and Artemis at them. But I think Artemis is in general just going to be a little more useful here. So I'm going to do this. I'm not going to use it right away, but this will be useful later on. Mark my words. 
Um, I know that that seems extremely dumb because it didn't make me stronger right now. It kind of is, but also uh, I just want to have it there as background. Artemis is going to be the most useful in the short term. Um, I mean, we were pretty much good with our weapons for now anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, and then we'll just wait on the burst laser because it takes a little bit longer. <laughs> Mark my words, get it? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, we have another intruder on board. Do these people have missiles? They don't have missiles, but I, I still want to keep our evasion chance. Okay, this just drains the oxygen from the room, right? Oh, whoops, I totally missed that. Let's just shoot this at it. Looks like we didn't really get through. Okay, whatever. Uh, they have a good shield on their ship. Oh no, he has dazed them. Uh, not good, not good. Bad, bad, not good. Not good at all, not good at all. Oh Jesus, at least he's gone into a non-essential system. This is so far our worst fight by far. Um, uh, we just never got a chance to go on anything like decent here. Oh no, the oxygen is also out now. Uh, okay, I'm sending you in there, man. Sending you in there. Okay, good, we've taken out their weapons. I don't want to die right now. If they manage to escape, whatever. This was just a horrible fight. Uh, aren't we about to kill you, like, immediately? This is not a very good offer anyway. No, I must kill you completely now. Yikes. At least we made a decent amount back from the scrap. That was not a good fight. We took a lot of damage there. But for, like, blood for the blood got a little bit more opportunity to repair or whatever. You sit in there and repair because your health is too low. You repair that. Why is it that the rock man reminds me of Kevin from The Office? Like a large rock-like fellow. There's something, like, oddly endearing about the gentle giant. Hey, Spicy Gavino, thank you very much for the raid. Hope you guys were having a good time. What were you guys playing? Were you guys playing any FTL? Thanks for joining us. Hope you had a good stream. If you, uh, if you gotta head out, thanks for dropping off your folks here. I hope you enjoy. What were you guys playing? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like there's an opportunity here for Mark. Mark my words. A pu another pun opportunity, eh? That was not, It's good, though, to get a, a bad fight every now and then just because it kind of exposes your weaknesses. I think I want to try yet another store. I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, if I can help it. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Will I be able to get that? Let's just go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that would be a little bit safer. Not take the whole risk, but just see how it goes. Hmm. Pledge to do what you can? Okay, here we go. We have accepted another quest. Uh, store. Okay, cool. We get another quest marker on our lineup. Even better. Nice. We have some objectives going on here. Okay, cool. So we get another store. Uh, they do have cloaking. That's not bad. Shield charge booster. Uh, recharge rate of the shields boosted by 15%. That's not bad. I think cloaking is better, though. So, uh, I said if I could decide, I would get rid of the flak. Um, yeah, I would prefer flak one, you're right. Backup battery is also not bad. I don't really have enough to get cloaking, though, now. I sort of want to get the shield charge booster, but it's not really a game breaker, so I think I'm just going to refrain. Uh, let's go ahead and just buy repairs. I hate to do that, but yeah. 59... None of these are, like, game-breaking. You need something that's game-breaking if you want to win. Um, I would rather just put money into... Eh, actually, backup battery is pretty good. Whatever, I'll take it. I might not get the opportunity again. And besides, it clears out some room in future stores. Uh, we'll go to the quest, then the distress. I still think we have a decent lineup for the rest of the system. Uh, cool. All right. Missile event. Go for the shields, and then wait on the burst laser. A little funny, kind of throws me off to do that, but I think it works. I think the shield recharge thing would have been good, but... 
cool. Oh, that's such a great lineup. When it does work, Artemis into a burst laser on their guns is fantastic. Yeah, like they're basically dead in two rounds. Unless if that first missile misses, then that's... It, it all, like, depends on that. There's no real way of getting it more accurate. I think I did the right thing here. Uh, we have another distress signal. Okay, cool. We got another NG event. Cool. Sweet. Awesome. We actually got a lot of scrap from that. I mean, we're rich. Like, we're not going to have too many problems going forward from here. We are rich. Okay, they're not trying to escape, though. Uh, shields. NG ship, kind of tricky. I wonder if they're going to, like, shoot any invaders on board. I don't like that kind of drone action. Oh, no, they've destroyed down, uh, or shot down our laser. Ooh, that was really unlucky. Okay, power off Artemis. We'll power it on, but we can shoot only burst lasers here. Ugh, this is bad. This is really bad. Cool, okay, we've taken down their shields. Uh, I think we just have to keep shooting their shields. Artemis is useless until we can get down that defense drone. Or, I mean, unless if we shoot it in at a different angle, but it's not... I mean, it's probably not gonna happen. Okay, there we go. Uh, their shields are still at orange, unfortunately. Not a great fight, but these NGs aren't that strong. So... Like, they aren't really doing tons of damage to us, so whatever. Oh, somehow we have taken out one of their other drones. I guess by shooting it directly? I didn't even know that was in the game. Man, FTL, how you continue su to surprise me year after year with your surprises. Surprise me with your surprise. God, why do I even say the things I do? At least I'm just slightly self-aware. <laughs> It almost makes up for my lack of word choice. Okay, there we go. One. Man, this has been the slowest and most innocuous fight ever where I've actually been nervous. We did not do particularly well this fight. Oh, wow. It took out the defense drone at the last minute. I didn't know that it could do that if it gets in the like line of fire with from the projectile. Okay, I think we'll go directly to the exit. Nothing crazy here. Yeah, their weapons are pretty weak. Uh, we'll look for a rebel ship. Oh, no, okay. Uh, not what I was looking for. Uh, these guys also have a defense drone. Would I be better off with the flak gun? Maybe I would for this fight. Hang on a second. Let me divert power from my mid bay. Well, because Artemis is just going to get shot down. Let's just shoot them with a the flak gun. It's going to have a horrible charge up time, but yeah, let's just do that. Let's see how this goes. Okay, flak gun, prove yourself. <laughs> Humongous Koi. Thank you very much for the Prime. Appreciate it, my friend. Now, we could sync up the times of these, but I think it's just going to be such a barrage of projectiles, we might as well just do it this way. I don't think that these people are capable of hurting us. Oh my gosh, look at all of the flak going at them. Jesus, that is so cool. Uh, no, I don't accept your surrender. We just powered down your uh, engines. We're good. Basically, it takes a long time to hit them, but then you just get random damage in one area. Not really my favorite, because I like to pinpoint areas, and that's going to be tricky for the final fight if you save it for then, but... Not bad. Let's go to the next sector. This is actually great. This is great. This is a winning run already. If we get Weapon Pre-Igniter, I will potentially accept this flak gun. Um, although I would still prefer Burst Laser. Okay, now I think I'm going to level up some of my ship. Uh, what else have we got? Okay, cool. We're starting to level up on some stuff. Uh, we could get one more power just to be powering up Artemis at the same time, just so we have a, like, a choice to make there. Um, yeah, we'll do the whole deal. Actually, undo. Just that. Accept. And then we'll take power away from our engine. Because that's only like another 5% dodge chance, right? I want to say. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What is it? 
Man, evasion plus seven. Okay, yeah, we're fine there. Okay, so let's go ahead, just because I don't want to spend too much money. I still want to have some money left if anything good comes up in one of the stores. But yeah, ships do get stronger in this sector, so you got to watch out for it. Uh, we will put flak on their guns. We'll put the burst laser on their shields, and we'll put Artemis on their shields. Cool, now we actually have like a host of weapons with which to choose to do things. Let's also power up our our power, of course, um, and try to do something with that. Is time going? Okay, it's just a very slow start to the fight. Yeah, weapon pre-igniter would be pretty OP right here if we do manage to get it. Yeah, I think I'm going to just save the missiles for now. You want to save as many missiles as you can because they come in extremely handy in the final battles of the game. The better you can do with that does make a difference. Uh, I do not accept your surrender because I'm getting so much value out of this scrap collector arm that it's just insane. Okay, another store. Cool. We have 167. I'm going to do it. Yeah, turn off the ex oxygen. Everyone hold your breath. Not very good. Uh, I don't like this store at all. This is the worst store. Oh my gosh, this is sucks. <laughs> uh, absolutely nothing that I want. No, never mind. Sad. Better, maybe we'll get another one. Just thinking, do I want a third shield to feel really strong here? Or at that point, it's better. you're better off getting evasion, really. Although evasion is one of those systems that I like to save for the very end. Let's keep looking a little bit longer for a ship, just because I think we're strong enough if they do have missiles. Okay, these guys don't have missiles, though. Uh, Artemis is going to go on for their shields. Then we'll power up the burst, or the flak. Let's just shoot flak here. Here we go. It's so hard to tell at times if you're paused or unpaused. There's not really that much going on. Hopefully Artemis will hit. Good, Artemis did hit. Uh, they still have some shields left over, so let's just pew their shields anyway. Okay, decent. We'll keep shooting at their shields, and we'll keep having Artemis shoot. I still don't think that this ship's guns are strong enough. It's You have to wait so long until that flak. And see that flak, that was seven projectiles, but they were just kind of all over the place. Like, if you can't pinpoint the enemy ship, it's worthless. Ah, yeah, look, their engines are too good. Artemis, we're, we're just going to save the missiles now, because otherwise we're just going to be burning missiles. Um, I know it's missiles, but I still think scrap is going to be more useful to us here. Yeah, Burst Laser 3 is pretty bad. We actually got stuck with Burst Laser 3 in the last fight. Or in the last matchup. Let's see if we can get another store, because if I could get a second Burst Laser, or even like a Charge Laser, if I can... Oh my gosh, this ship has a lot of stuff on it. Um, I will use up one Artemis on their gun. Just because if these manage to hit us, we are going to take some damage. I'd rather use Burn 1 Missile than take damage. Ooh, yeah, we got hit with one barrage. Not good. Okay, we did take one damage. Eh, that's fine. That's basically all we're going to take in this fight anyway. Let's see how the flak does here. Look, so many misses. And it just kind of does random damage at everything. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's not horrible, but it's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination either. Flak 1 would be crazy. But I feel like we would be best off if we had, like, four flak ones. I think we can spend a little bit more on ship upgrades again. I'm thinking if we go, just because evasion is really cheap right now. Let's just see how we could distribute the power. I think we're going to want some more power. And then I, I keep forgetting to use my backup battery. Let's get a little bit more there. And then at the start of the fight, we'll just use the backup battery for our oxygen. <laughs> Four flak ones would be hilarious. Yeah, that would be the other... Well, it, yeah, it would lack precision. But it could probably take down the enemy's shields. Um, either more information or more scrap. I think we are going to have a lot of scrap, so let's see if we can get some information. Okay, just distress big uh, beacons here. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and answer these distress beacons, see if there's anything decent at them. Although, ooh, I'm not even going to be able to get back in time. Nope, we can't do it. Like, we have to go all the way back to this star. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's decent. Have a decent run of it. Not very good stores here, but I think we had such good luck here that we'll be fine. Um, oh, I don't really like this exchange. Nope, I don't want it. I'm not giving you my fuel. It's basically where we were in the last game. Like, please give us some fuel. <laughs> Just so horribly dead. Uh, okay, intruders on board now. Oh, this is not a bad place for intruders to board at, though. It looks like there are f three or four humans, but we are rock men. Um, ooh, please don't destroy our oxygen system. Actually, I'm going to send my NG in there also. P please don't kill us. Uh, NG versus human, NG will lose, but hopefully we did enough. It's good, though, that we're getting combat experience, because so far our crew has not gotten too particularly much of that. And we have all these fragile NGs on board. Good. As the fists and the arrows pronounce... We are getting strong, boy. Good. Rock. My favorite gym in Pokemon was Rock. Uh, Brock, I mean. Oh, I just got that. His name was Brock, and he was in charge of the rocks. Br Brock Obama. Oh, man. We should have named one of them Brock. Can I still do it? I can't even do it anymore. Idiot. I can't even name my crew members Brock. Bro. Rock. Brock. Maybe like Ash and Misty, too. Oh, oh why didn't I name one of them Brock? I'm sad now. I didn't even get to rename them Igneous, Metamorphic, and Sedimentary. Brock. Dwayne or Dwayne, yes. Uh, Lanius, inquire about the process. Um, oh, they respond. We haven't, uh, the fuck is it? Uh, ooh, um, hmm. I don't know what you get from this one. Augmentations are pretty good. Though, honestly, we kind of need weapons more here. We have in the foggy study of how it works. They appear to meld the part of their bodies into the metal and reshape it. They have been willing to demonstrate their ability if you have some metal that you would like, convert into something. I don't actually know what... I'm just going to assume that this is a random weapon because I don't know. But we do have a lot of scrap and we need a weapon. Chain Vulcan? What the hell is that? It sounds like it needs a lot of power. Shots per charge of one. Improves with consecutive shots. I don't actually know this thing. What is this? I don't think I've ever even seen this. A laser weapon takes a long time to warm up each... Okay. Each time it fires, it decreases the cooldown, eventually able to take down any amount of shields. Oh my god. Um... Is, is it like, it's giga good? Okay, we are going to use it. I've never used this thing before. I'm, like, kind of happy about it because I have, didn't even know that this existed in the game. Uh, cool. Okay, I'm willing to take it. It basically... Oh, it ramps. Uh, ramping is okay, but let's also put it on our first weapon system because I don't want to get unempowered. Pretty good charge up time, but it's... What is its charge up time? It's not... It's less than 20 seconds. 11.1. Oh, and it gets faster charges. Oh, I kind of want to see this thing at, at work. Uh, it seems kind of cool. Let's also have enough for the burst laser, though. And we'll also just get one more power... Yeah, let's get one more power for Artemis in case if something goes horribly awry. Um, yeah, I just want that as a backup to bail me out. Yeah, I'm going to stand by that. Um, and then we'll put the backup power into our evasion. Okay, this is looking like a very good run, assuming that I like this gun. Constantly keeps four shields down at full speed. That's amazing. Wait, are you kidding me? Is this like a special weapon that you can't pick up in any store? I wish I had known this. Is th Do you always get this from the Lanius event? I don't think I'd ever had that event before. Um, examine the station. Scrap the machinery. Cool. 22. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we have, like, really, really good RNG this time. You kind of need it in this game. NG homeworlds or civilian sector. I guess we'll go to civilian sector so that we get another green area later. 
as long as you can get it going. That's why I'm going to keep it in the first weapon slot, because God forbid this thing gets powered down. Um, that would be very bad. I don't think I'm actually... I don't really need a store anymore. I'll go in case if I could get rid of that flak gun, because I don't think this is going to be very useful to us anymore. Um, let's see. Stealth weapons. Prevents your weapons fire from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot it while cloaked. Ooh, that could be really good if you do have cloaking. Um, I may not be able to get that, though, so... Missile-based weapons have a 50% chance of not using a missile. That's essentially, like, doubling your missiles. Yeah. Like, statistically, that's going to mean that we don't have to worry about missiles anymore. Could be useful just for saving money. Although, do we have enough for, like, the rest of the game? And the shield charge booster. I might just take some of these augmentations, because they're pretty good. Cloaking I would like, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything with it. I don't love Flak, and I like Vulcan and Burst Laser 2 better, so I'm going to just sell this. Um, the shield charge could be good. Yes, I agree with you, but my fear is in the worst case scenario when you get shot at with missiles. I don't think Stealth Weapons is really my preferred one. But I think just because of how many shields you have, Shield Charge Booster is potentially useful here. So it's worth the 45. Um, and then I can't really get stealth weapons anymore. So we'll just live with that. Uh, anything else we're low on? Not really. I feel like fixing is kind of unnecessary. I'll fix one just because I want to be perfect. I must be perfect. I must be perfect. Vulcan. I've never played with Vulcan before. This actually seems pretty cash money. Um, listen to their offer. Some of your friends have taken piracy. Uh, would you like to convince some of them to pour a decision by severely damaging the... Okay, so they want me to kill someone. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Your money or your... Okay, so they wanted to kill us. We want to be the ones to kill you, uh, which is pretty much the story of every single like event in this game, whatever. People want to kill us. People always want to kill us, it seems. Okay, I'm thinking we will still shoot Artemis just because I don't fully trust this thing yet. I just want to see what it does, and then I'll be happy. I think the next thing we go for is big boy shield after this, because now that we have that shield synergy, this could be ridiculously useful. Okay, cool. Their guns are down. Vulcan and burst laser, and we will, I think, power down, or at least stop auto-firing Artemis. Might not even be necessary. Um, Vulcan is going to get stronger, so that... Uh, no, I still am going to shoot Artemis. Okay, it's not perfect. I could appreciate that it gets stronger as we go through combat. All right. Fair. Valid. You win. We are not cut out for this. Um, let them live and return to... Uh, I'm going to kill them. I think they tricked us. Bad people. You deserve to die. Be gone. Or else you'll probably just do it. If you are really this, like, volatile, you will probably do it to other people. Does Vulcan just keep getting stronger? Oh my god, that's insane. Like, it gets so fast. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, this thing is like a Gatling gun. Yeah, missile auto-fire maybe was a bit much there. I just, I did not trust Vulcan yet. Okay, now I fully trust Vulcan. Basically, we just have to keep down the enemy's guns, and then we just keep Vulcan focused on their shields. And meanwhile, we shoot the burst laser at, like, engines or whatever. As in every combat in this game, you can't just, like, AFK it and then win. But, it, I mean, it works, and it works really well. Yeah, like, it is hilarious when it's fully charged. It's worth it for the memes. That thing is great. I like that. I've never had this gun before. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. Okay, cool, we get some stuff. I know I don't read everything through fully, I'm sorry. Um, I think we'll just go along this way, because now if, we're, if we've got this distress beacon here. Um, let's see. Uh, space pirates. Okay, yeah, I'm still of the fa in favor of Artemis early. Then Vulcan goes for shields. Or, you know, let's go Art... Let's my We still are going to have to micromanage. There's no getting around it. Vulcan, we will just power up. Actually, let's have Vulcan just start shooting just so that it gets faster. Right after Artemis shoots. Okay, now we have... Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Burst laser and Vulcan go in. Okay, cool. Now they're both down. 
Um, okay, we're on an ion star. I'm just gonna keep shooting my lasers or my missiles just because I don't want to. I don't want to die here, like that. That's not good. Look at that. Ah oh, man, why did I take away my shield, boy? No, that's not good. Uh, in this rare instance, this is a pretty good offer, and we're on an Ion Star. I'm just going to accept the surrender. And we were about to take some big damage right there, only because we were at an Ion Star. I hated how this Ion Star takes down all of our defenses at once. Yeah, two missiles is scary. Okay, so I would say that our shields are basically fine now. The big danger for the rest of this is going to be evading missiles. So we've got to power this thing up. Let's see, we still have four. Yeah, we want to buy more power for our ship now. Okay, let's jump. Go to the distress beacon. Am I really an amphibian? Yes. Don't we already have a... We have two scrap recovery arms. Do those actually stack? <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's a good thing there was no fight there. Yeah, I think we got a sell. I think you're right. Oh, they do stack? Wait, seriously? Ooh, I mean, they won't be that useful to us anymore, but, like, still kind of cool. Um, yeah, we'll buy more power. This is a good opportunity to just totally power up our ship. Um, okay, we don't need the med bay powered up. We power up Artemis. I still have totally forgotten that I have a backup battery. Okay, we'll just use that. We... Oh, I shouldn't have done that right before I jump. Never mind. Um, might not even be worth it to buy this. I say we just finish off the power. We're going to need a third shield. Third shield is worth it. And with the shield recharge booster. I just can't see myself like... Just see those. There There's no store right here. So, okay. I'm going to get... Two more of those. Cool. And then uh, the next thing we'll invest in will be a third thing of shields. Yep. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. I think we can go one, two, three. Oh no, I can't do that. Okay, so then we'll do one, two, three, and then go from there. Wait a second. One, two, three, yeah, we'll do that. Oh yeah, I could have just sat there and waited for it to recharge. Does it automatically reach? Okay, these people are already trying to escape. Um, aim for their engines, everything on their engines, just even if something gets through, we want it going for the engines, not even necessarily the shields first, right? Just prevent them from escaping. Oh no, alas, they have a uh, defense drone. Uh, Artemis, no. Just shoot with the other ones. Those recharge at roughly the same time. Vulcan is there. Uh, I don't really like this fight. This is not a good fight for us. Uh, Artemis is in a bad spot. It's in rough shape. I mean, at least we're not taking damage, though, right? So. These people may very well escape from us. Hang on a second. Am I doing everything right? Oxygen and that. I can't really do much else. I'm not shooting Artemis because it's just gonna get shot down. I'm trying to go right for their engine. Just so that they can't escape. No, we just keep getting kind of unlucky with all these hits. Okay, Vulcan is like at full force now. Okay, good. We've prevented them from escaping. Vulcan keep shooting at their shields now. And Burst Laser. And then Artemis is going to... Uh, no, Burst Laser is going to go for... Got to go for the drones. Yep, they got away. Won't really make a big difference. We just kind of got unlucky in that fight. Oh, could we see there where they were actually going to jump? Uh, this is not a bad offer, actually. I mean, we have more missiles. I'll take that. Store. I don't really have enough money for any store, unfortunately, right now. Sadly, I may have to pass up this one store. I just don't think I'll have any money. Oh, wait a minute. I do have the scrap recovery, but they do double. Uh, eh, I think I'm just going to skip it. Yeah, we just got a lot of misses. Okay, I will attack again. Yeah, it's it's when they have that defense drone that's tricky because I can't get through to their shields with Artemis in like one burst. 
I need some way around that, which is generally speaking why I like to just do one big missile at the beginning. Um, let's see, Artemis will save this. Actually save these two for just a second. Just Artemis. I'm too heavily dependent on Artemis though. As it stands right now. Ooh, lots of damage. Lots of damage, very nice. Are they even capable of damaging me right now? Well, they do have an ion. Let me take that out. Yeah, I don't want the ion to take down my shields. All right, but we'll save some missiles now. Yeah, that's becoming very important for combat. I'm glad that I kept it. Vulcan is pretty insane, though. I think we still have yet to see, like, the full power of Vulcan because it starts to accelerate at accelerating. Like, look at it. That's insane. <laughs> it was, like, at full power by the end of combat. All right, we got to get out of here first. Hmm, arrived at the long-range beacon. Okay, FTL drive. Uh, selling missiles for... Uh, this isn't really that great a deal. No, absolutely not. I want to keep my missiles. Never mind. Never mind you. Civilian segment. Cooldown reduction amelioration. Doesn't amelioration just mean to make things better? Hmm. I forgive me, I forget what that word means. I think we go to the distress and then the store, just because the distress gives an opportunity to make money, yeah. We go there. We do that. Promise to help uh <clears throat> excuse me, NG crew. Ooh, hooray! Lots of money. Um, store. Okay, so now we have one ninety four. We're just getting scraps so fast in this run. It's insane. Uh S bomb self teleporting explosive. Not the whole could be useful, except for in certain instances. I do kind of like my projectile missiles. I think I'm going to keep that. Yeah, I do have to unfortunately go through a nebula. This is not too particularly good of a story. Mind control could be useful, but I would use it more in a boarding match. I think I'm just going to fix. Yeah, not much else I can do there. Uh, oh well. I'm sad. Yeah, I'm not going to buy any drones. I just don't really like drones. Maybe I could do a drone run one of these days. People in distress <laughs> means money. Precisely, yes. Uh, okay, take power down off of those. Why are we not putting power on our guns? Jesus. Um, okay, turn on the backup battery. Now the backup battery comes in handy. Let's bring that down to minimal. Oh god, what is that on their ship? Okay, I'm just going to power up Artemis and Vulcan. Okay, straight for that. Because they have only one shield, these people. Uh, we do have our two shields. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that's flak, I want to say. As soon as that... Oh, it missed. No. No. Doing like the Michael Scott thing now. Uh, flak, I still don't want a flak gun shooting at me. Thank you. Okay, I'm going for that. Jesus Christ, look at that. Look, <laughs> it's all over the ship. Uh, I don't like it. I think we just keep shooting their guns, even regardless of shields. Vulcan is starting to get fast. Now, let's see Vulcan at full speed, though. Ooh, it does get through shields. Wow, it really does. We just had so many misses, though. Oh, my God. This thing could, like, single-handedly take down a whole ship. Um... I don't think that they're going to be able to charge up their FTL fast enough. No, I'm not letting them get away. Cool. Whoa, this thing is good. Jesus, I can't believe that I tried this before. Or that I never tried this. Yeah, their FTL was delayed from the uh, Nebula Storm, right? <coughs> Excuse me. 233. What can we do to just avoid taking damage now? I say another shield. We do that. Two more power bars, and now... Uh, it'll get better when we get out of this nebula. Though, let's just buy another power bar just to keep it, like, good. Okay, get far away from these nebulas. I hate nebulas so much. Like, we just lost all power in our ship. Uh... We'll give them five. Uh, that was not worth it. What was that? I didn't even know that event. 
Um, burst laser. I mean, I didn't remember it, of course. Okay, so we have 2.25 level 6 dodge. Dodge 28. What does that mean? Oh, yeah, 42% dodge. That's pretty good. 42% chance to dodge. I think now is where we start to think about just how much can we possibly dodge. And then from there, we, we're pretty much Gucci. Um, we've even got one dedicated power to put onto our med bay for a while now. I know you're generally best off never having any dedicated power to med bay, but it does feel nice. Put onto oxygen. Kind of like non-essential systems. We don't even need oxygen. The power of having it. We'll do that when we do the Lanius ship. Rock ship is actually pretty good because there's so many empty runes. Meaning Flakasar is less likely to damage system. I hadn't really thought of that. There, That is true. There are a lot of... Yeah, I guess I never thought of it that way. <clears throat> yeah, some of the oxygen direction is pretty good. Like, it's good at defending itself. Okay, we will attack this rebel ship. Uh, or whatever they are. Um, I still think we gotta go in with Artemis. We need either, like, a stronger missile or yet more burst lasers on this. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, I kind of got to get into this room. I don't want to take you off of there. Okay, so I'm just going to send these two into this room. Ooh, I don't like this at all. NG having to fight them alone? No, not good. Um... Okay, you go over there. Let the rock man fight. Ooh, yay! Engine improvement. Uh, shield takedown. I just am not getting, like, enough hits on the systems I want to. Now, nah, just Artemis there. And then we'll have Burst Laser go onto that one. It's kind of random and all over the place, my shooting, but... There's a lot of stuff I want to shoot. This is a very strong ship. Why is this ship so strong? Okay, they stopped boarding. Um, you get a little bit of health care. I'm not, I'm not as worried about the other guy. Jesus. I feel like we're getting, like, more misses than I'm used to here. Yeah, and we're also running low on missiles, like, out of nowhere, practically. Just how many... This is my thing about burst lasers, is it requires a lot of them to do well. I'm just going to turn off Artemis now and leave Vulcan and um, the burst laser firing. Like, this is the one drawback to our ship. I think we'll have a very nice time of it in the final boss fight. Because it, it always lasts a long time, the final boss fight. But our ship just isn't very strong at the start of combat. We could use, like, a weapon pre-igniter or something. Um, or even that wouldn't be good. Just a cloak. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, cool. I think we're all in our right places again. We're good on power. Um, pretty good on shields. It's really just the dodging of the missiles that I'm worried about. We do have a store, though. Let's go to the distress beacon. Or let's go to one, two... Eh, we'll just do distress beacon, and then we'll go to the store. Actually, no, I feel like I'm not very good at optimizing there. Yeah, we'll do this, then the distress, then the store. <clears throat> okay, nothing here. Uh, okay, we have two distress beacons. I think we'll go to the far one, then the near one, because that's an option. And then we'll go to the store. Wee, lots of money. Uh, lead them to their destination, 29 scrap. Okay, we... Oh, God, Jesus Christ, this is so many things at once. Uh, all right, I think we could probably get a lot of it done. Potentially a really good thing if we get to the end of it. Um, find a lone survivor. Okay. Um, invite him to join the crew. Okay, cool. Another rock man. Hey, good. Extra crew member. We Hooray. Uh, we will put you on the sensors. Okay, we can get a little bit more of a, a visual on the enemy ship. I think this is always fun when you get the visual on the enemy ship. Yeah, I would just figured with all the other things we've got going on, like, we might not have time to go to the enemy ship. Well, let me just save these crew positions. Uh, yeah, we've still got to do a distress, then store, then quest, then exit, hopefully. We might even have to fight the, uh, the enemies for one part. I think, yeah, I want to do this distress. Ooh, yeah, that's actually going to be really tricky. I don't think I'm going to be able to do one of these. Ah, darn. I think store, just because a good store can basically win the game.
We might have time to back and forth it here. Yeah, let's just see. Unfortunately, yeah, I thought I could store it a quest, but I can't do it. Um, let's see. FTL recharge booster, reverse ion field. Uh, protects your ship from ion damage, giving a 50% chance to negate. That's pretty good, but it's only a chance, so I don't really like that. Um, I kind of prefer cloaking just because it's a sure thing. Like, you will definitely be able to cloak. I'm buying cloaking. Okay, cool. This is like a very much an end game type of system. Uh, these ones we could get if we sell the other things, but uh, just they're creating too much value right now. Not good. Not good, yeah. All right, um, and I guess I'll fix since I'm so like wealthy right now. I think I might buy some missiles too. Yeah, why not? I'll buy the missiles. We've been using them up a lot. Uh, all right, let's see if we can back and forth it. I know mind control. Mind control is good. You're right. Ooh, I could have hired someone. I don't really need any more crew members though. Yeah, I can go without. Let's power it in the bed bay and power up our cloaking. Okay, great. Uh, now it would be great if we had more sensors so that we could actually see where the enemy's weapons are. I'm willing to take the quest if it means their f their range might slow down for a second. So I'm willing to do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. We do have a cloaking system now. Uh, breach. Designed to cause maximum destruction to ship hull armor. Uh, normal damage, four required power. It is three required power. That's a bit too much. Uh, charge laser. Uh, what is this, Mark One? Laser charger. Charge two times, even an additional projectile. Max charge shots, two. I don't... I think I've used this. I think we have enough regular beams anyway. I'm not really crazy about that. Oh, but we do have hacking here. Um, oh no. Ah, I shouldn't have bought all that stuff. I don't want to sell any of the things that we have. I could sell two. What would these be? I think I would get rid of too much stuff to get hacking. I think I have to leave hacking now because hacking is amazing. Mind control is definitely good, but I like hacking even better. Yeah, I don't I don't want to sell anything. I just don't have the scrap. I just wasted my scrap a minute ago. Oh, well. All right. Whatever. Sad. Uh, I can't tell whether we're in or out of the... Uh, like, invasion. Okay, we are very much in the invasion area. Yeah, that was not good. Okay, uh, fortunately, we can cloak here for a second. You're in the sensors, but we still can't really see, like, what is going on there. Will having a guy in cloaking actually improve the cloaking... ...ability? Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna wait until they shoot, and then I'm going to... Okay, that was a missile. I'm waiting. I'm cloaking. Woo, cloaking. Very nice. Very nice. Paused. Okay. Uh, let's go for shields, and then we'll shoot. As soon as we see if Artemis shot right... Okay, it totally missed. Very sad. We'll just go everything on shields. I don't think we can win this fight, but I'm just going to try to anyway. Okay, we don't have any cloaking ability yet. I'm just gonna jump. I have to get out of here. I'm not going to try to win this one. It's a very difficult fight. We'll go to the rebel controls. Okay, good. We are free. That looked like a horrible barrage too. I'm glad that we did that. Uh, it would have been very bad to have died to that. So sad. All right, we need to collect more money, so let's just make our way slowly through this Starfield. <laughs> oh, there I go saying Scarfield again. I mean Starfield. Ah, oh, man. I think we go, like, just zigzag out. We just need to collect scrap. We should have a hard time once we get in contact with some scrap, now that we have this insane stuff, but... Okay, so now we have even more stuff to keep track of. We have cloaking. Um, this is a great opportunity to get more levels, too, I'll just add. But we have a great answer to those missiles so that we can dodge them. 
One and two, and then we shoot Artemis at their, well, let's shoot Artemis at their shields too. Okay, cloak, cloak, cloak. Don't get hit, don't get shot. But fortunately, the cloaking, I mean, along with our weapons charging up, that gives us a good, ample opportunity to like, I don't know, kind of mess them up a bit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I feel like that I can actually focus now on this. Uh, no, because we want to use our scrap recovery arms to collect, like, your entire ship. That's insane. Sweet! We didn't even take a single damage from that, and they had sh three shields. We got 68 scrap from one fight, too. Okay, um... I think I'll make my way over here. Alright, uh, Rebel ship is guarding this beacon. Uh, another three shield ship. This is a good test of whether we're ready for end game. This sector. One might call it a star sector. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I am s I am a sad man. Hey, let's go over here. It is kind of cool being able to see the, into the enemy ship, isn't it? Oh, now I can't see into the enemy ship anymore. Everyone, just shoot everything at their shields. Okay, they are shooting at us. We will cloak. Oh, we just dodged a big one there. Okay, don't get the pilot killed. That would be horrible. Go get some health care. Get yourself some health care. Backup systems. See, backup systems are great for health care because you don't need them for a long time, but... Okay, I'm going to avoid shooting any more Artemis now. Actually, maybe I'll just shoot one more at their guns. Just to prevent them from killing us. Oh god, I'm about to lose a crew member and just totally ignoring them. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, yikes. Okay, just shoot their guns. I don't want to take any more damage. Oh, they're going to offer us one of their guns! Laser Charger Mark II. I wish you could get information on it. Not good. This is bad. Also, Scribbies, thank you very much for the raid. Hope you guys had a good uh, stream. Yeah, they're giving us 82 scrap, but that stat might not even be that good. Is the organ turret take it? Okay, 82 scrap, all right. I'm willing to live with you guys. Hopefully you won't get me shot. Hey, right, hope you guys had a good stream. Yeah, yeah, that could be more scrap than I would get, but with my double scrap recovery arm at... It might actually not. I don't really know how it is. Oh, isn't this the one that we had before? Charge multiple times. I'm not even sure we can use this. We could probably sell it at the next store, though. We could use it instead of these things. Now, what I like is having one big gun on the bottom that needs a lot of charging. And then these ones, like, if they slightly take out our missile system, these are good because they'll disable them one by one and we won't just lose all of our guns for a second like that would be really bad um i think the biggest danger right here is just missiles but i want to see what the stores have to offer because we missed out on something big before whoops uh we are kind of low on oxygen you two get some repair experience great stream hope you're having a good one as well uh, thank you it's going pretty well. Yeah, we've been getting good RNG this time. Of course, it's the RNG's fault. And the lag, of course. If anything goes wrong. Man, it does not sound like it's going particularly well on their ship. I love when a ship blows up after they've surrendered. Like, oh no, it was for nothing. Yeah, there they go. Ooh. <laughs> we are the best. Uh... Good. I don't, I don't know how the rest of that song goes. Arrive at a popular one merchant seems to be passed, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's respond to him. I was worried no one would respond. My usual carry is days late and drawn parts of the paper and they the shell. I tip your generosity. Accept. Okay, cool. Uh, quest. We got some drone parts that we have to like sell to someone or something like that. Uh, cool. Two distress beacons. That is going to give us a lot of scrap. Now, even if we can't find any interesting stores here, uh, we will send in the rock crew member. Ooh, emergency respirators. What are these? Crew takes half damage from low oxygen. Ah. You know, I think if there's low oxygen, they're like they're just gonna die. So I don't think I'm actually gonna take this. I think I'm just gonna stay with the two 
scrap recovery arms. Honestly, like, it's probably going to do us more good for the one more time we're going to have to use it. Um, I think I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Will that give me enough time? Hopefully, hopefully it will. Good. That's true that recovery arms don't win a fight, but the money that they'll get me may win me the fight. Okay, they are cloaked. Really, the last thing on my wish list is like a hacking system. Okay, cloak? Cloak, boy, what an amazing cloak that was. Uh, I don't really even need to use anything here. Let's just... Actually, auto-fire. I don't need to waste any missiles on this. Okay, cool. We basically won. Wow, this was a surprisingly easy fight for that. Wait a minute, what? Uh, no, not what- I did not authorize that. Hang on a second. Uh, maybe I should have used one missile. One missile can really save you a lot of pain in this game. Oh, two damage. I was cloaked. Unacceptable, honestly. Here, just everything shoot that damn, like... Missile. Jesus, that's so many misses. That was really unlucky. Oh, well. Honestly, if two damage is a really bad fight, I feel like we're doing okay. Andy Hulk. Ah, the Rassus. Thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate you. One missile. Once you arrive at the location of the uh, thanks for responding. Our have to... Uh, yeah, lead them to their destination. Okay, 29 scrap. We're getting rich, man. 345 scrap and a store. This will probably be the last store we get to visit. Um, okay, not really anything good. Uh, oh no. <laughs> like, totally useless. We're gonna have just horrible augmentations. Oh no, and I don't really like any of this either. Uh, darn. That's bad. I'm not gonna invest in a whole drone control system. Triple, yeah, surely a trips, triple scrap recovery arm. We may have another opportunity at another store in the last section. I think we don't. I'm going to just keep this because I can't think of much else to do with it. And it's not going to give me back that much money. Uh, that's not great. Um, I think what we should do here is buy the last two shields. I think we get four shields. Yeah, I think four shields is going to make a bigger difference than what do we get. Yeah, the evasion wouldn't make that big a difference. So we'll do that. Four shields. That's insane. And they recharge faster. We do have that as our one other augmentation, right? Yeah, shield charge booster. So that makes us basically, like, impervious to beams. Although missiles is really the big consideration, which let's go ahead and buy some of these. Um, and then we want to up the power of... Eh, cloaking is actually not that useful for much longer. I totally missed the fact that there was another store there. Oh my god, famous last words. They're going to have all the best stuff, aren't they? Jesus Christ, these are pretty good. Oh no, why did I do the things I just did? Uh, the rest isn't that good, though. Hang on a second, I could sell this. And I could sell some of my amazing scrap recovery arms. So I could get another 50 and 35 out of this. So I could get another 85. Um, okay, can I afford that? Honestly, stealth weapons might not be that bad. To sh uh, you just shoot at Wild Cloak? Okay, I will take that. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and sell one of my Scrap Recovery Arms here. And my other Scrap Recovery Arm, just because we aren't going to be recovering that much more Scrap anymore. Uh, I almost accidentally just sold my Vulcan. That would have been really bad. Backup batteries, that's not really going to make a big difference. Um, stealth weapons. Okay, I think that's good. S weapons would be nice for Vulcan. Oh, like, uh... Yeah, oh, stealth weapons. Yes, that is... Ooh, actually, that is true. Now we could up our, um, cloaking time, and it would actually make a difference. Okay, this is actually starting to make, a, starting to make an appreciable difference. Um, I feel like that the stealth weapons... Oh, no, I've already sold both drone recovery arms. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, I will keep the charge, too, just as a backup in case if anything else happens. Yeah, I mean, if you get walked into a weird situation where you can't 
do much else. There are certain fights where you're just like totally screwed. I'll keep it around. Yeah, 35 money isn't going to make a huge difference in the end anyway. Talk with the station and investigate. Okay, cool. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait a second. Okay, we got a crew member with awesome, like, gun abilities. Oh, we have already got that. At least we have a backup. Um, but okay, another crew member is not bad. I'll take it. Uh, let's send over the rock people to fight. Although I want you to get better at fighting before the last fight in the game. Cool, cool. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, we will redirect some of the abilities toward the med bay because we'll need that in a second. Uh, did someone die? No. No, we're all okay. Okay, you get into the med bay. And you go into that room. Just because I need you to get better at fighting. Sweet, sweet. Cool. Okay, nice. You guys get healthcare, and then I think we're pretty much ready to roll with the final fight. I'm feeling good about this run. The only thing is I slightly wish I had had a better weapon than this Artemis. I don't think I would have gone with the hull missile. Um, so I'm pretty happy with what I did. Um... You know, you always feel like you could do something a little bit better, but it is what it is. I'm going to put you on the cloaking system because we don't want anything to go wrong with the cloaking system. Or what would be a really bad system to have something go awry with? Let me just think about that. Like, what do we want repaired immediately? Um, I might even put two in the, like... Or who is most isolated in the ship? Maybe in the oxygen. Oh, I don't really know. Yeah, I'll leave you in cloaking just so that this guy isn't so isolated over here in case if anything goes awry. Okay, let's go ahead and save these crew positions. Mantis and repair. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's only kind of like a backup there in case if anything happens, but... He's also there just like to respond to threats and be his Mantis self if anything goes wrong. Thank you. Yep. Nikos. I guess he's like... A Japanese cat? Neko? Nekos? <laughs> or Neko wafers. Maybe he eats a lot of them. He's a wafer-hungry man. Hmm. Explore the asteroid field. We have four shields. Asteroids are a joke to us. Okay, these guys are super weak. Jesus Christ, only two shields? Two shields seems like nothing after all that. Okay, I don't like that, though. Um. Okay, Rockman, go. No, this guy's getting ripped apart. Hang on a second. Uh, backup battery. I don't, not really even paying attention here. I'm just, listen, stay calm, stay calm. Jesus, I give you two seconds with mantises and you're already dead. Hang on a second, I'm shooting Artemis. I gotta kill these people. Uh. Yeah, shoot at their weapon system. Everything go for the weapon system. Just, I gotta get out of this fight. This is, actually got really nasty really fast. You two go in there, except you keep getting in too fast because you're like such a go-getter. Here, get in there. Um, looks like their ship's about to blow up. Man, this is such like a suicide mission these guys are doing. Fortunately, they don't have any missiles, right? Yeah, these are like fully leveled man leveled mantises. Mantis. These are praying mantis. No, I do not accept your surrender. I want your scrap. Hang on a second. Prevent them from escaping. Prevent them from escaping. Uh, but only one more Artemis missile. Okay, good. Their escape has been prevented. I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of basic stuff in that fight, but... Yikes. That was kind of scary just due to crew boarding. We do need to fight a, against a, a potential crew boarding in the final fight of the game. Like, they'll do mind control on us and stuff. Uh, it's kind of nasty, so... I'd say that's our weakest area, just because the one thing that didn't occur to me is how slow the rocks are. But, I mean, people have had enough time to experience combat, and I think that's one of the easier-to-manage parts of the last fight. 
One thing I might do is upgrade our door systems before the final fight if I can. Uh, let's go to the next sector. Okay, last stand. Uh, this is kind of a variable system. Cool, so we got 10 fuel. Uh, let's see. Okay, we do have a store. I stand corrected. We get also a free repair here, but it doesn't really make a big difference. I think we get some decent stuff. Uh, but I don't really like the layout of this. I think I might just have to go one, two, three... I'm gonna have to go this way to get to it. Yeah. What's my favorite Pokemon? Squirtle. Yeah, a lot of... I mean, I apologize for it, but a lot of this stuff does get kind of micromanagey in the end of the game. Examine the station, scrap the machinery. Uh, we don't have those two repair or scrap recovery arms anymore. Let's see what's in the store before we go any further. Uh, although I don't think it's going to make a big difference. Let's just check it out. Because I think I mainly wanted to spend that money on ship systems. Um, totally useless. And totally useless. Mind control... Uh, I just feel like I'm good enough at crew micromanaging that I'm not going to rely on mind control here. I think you can de-mind control your people. Mind. Mind. <laughs> they call it a mind. A mind. Although I think I'm just not going to use this chart. I just, I don't see myself doing it. But could I get into a situation where I... Yeah, even so, even if I ran out of Artemis, I would still prefer Burst Laser 2 to this. No, I don't want it. I'm just going to get the money back. Yeah, when they do use the mind control on you, and it also gives another system that they might hack, because they're going to use hacking against us. Um, and that's the one thing we didn't get this time. We didn't get any hacking. We could do mind control, or let's see what else we could buy for our ship. Doors. Doors might be useful. I, mean, I can also get another two power. I definitely want another power. I want that, because I wanted to do that. I can do that. Um, what else can we do? So we have 94 left. Do we even have anything else that we could spend money on? Um, uh, one level of autopilot is not bad. Eh. I kind of just want these other things, because I don't want to be too much of a jack-of-all-trades, because I think that could get worse. Or worse, yeah. I'm just going to buy other stuff. Just my gut's not telling me not to do it. Um, I'm thinking one more on the door system. One more on the pilot. Just literally one on the pilot. And then one more on the cloaking. Yeah, I think one, two, three. How does that look? That actually seems pretty good to me. Uh, ooh, yeah, maybe another battery. Just because the auto... P one level of autopilot in case if anything goes really wrong. That can be a good one to save. Uh, the blasters might be unnecessary. I think I might just want to... Let me just see. Yeah, I think divert one more into power. We could put extra power on the cloaking when we use it. Actually, yeah. that I think that would work. Blasters. Just so that we could actually use the oxygen against them now. Okay, that looks way better. I feel much more comfortable in this ship. We Okay. Uh, base. Yeah, see, they're getting really close to the base really fast. I can't remember whether you get a repair at it. Let's go here. Honestly, it's not my best ever endgame ship, but it's definitely not bad by any means. Definitely not bad. Try to Artemis on that, and then we'll just start shooting Vulcan and the burst laser on the other one. Uh, these people don't happen to have any... Oh, Jesus, I didn't notice that. Oh, God, come on. Wait, this guy doesn't even damage the room, I'm pretty sure. It's fine to just have him there. Whoops-a-daisy. I totally messed that up. Oh, cool. We are still charging up our lasers. Is that while... Oh, no, while they're cloaked. That is useful, too. Man, look at all of those lasers, just totally useless against us. That is nice. It is nice to have lasers. 
I'm gonna save the rest of the missiles to the best of my ability now. Ooh, I don't like that. Where are we taking damage? Shoot their guns. Okay, we're fine. Yeah. A little bit iffy, but I'm just gonna have to be extra micromanagey on the final fight. Uh, if I could make my cloak last for 15 seconds, that's stupid. Oh, I forgot to use it that time, that's why. Okay, I'm taking that. That's insane if I could get it to work. With backup battery, that's another two power. Power bar for shields. I think we've already got our max there. It's just such a tricky one because he's going to be able to... Yeah, we'll meet him at this section. Something like that. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, Jesus. I just... Did my pilot just get shot? No, Lysandra. Uh, oh, yeah. You have to... Do not die. Hang on a second. I totally messed that up. Uh, doors don't really matter here, so that's okay. Okay, you will go in and repair. Wait, no, you're horrible at repairing. You're going to die if you do it. You will take over the shields for a second, because the shields are basically on autopilot. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay, backup battery time. Have an NG repair it. Get the healthcare going. Let's just put on one more onto that. We'll take down one of our evasion. Oh god, they have really good guns. But I can still dodge one. Okay, NG, get out of that room, get back to the health med bay. Jesus, our ship is not looking too particularly good. And they just shot at us. Okay, I'm going to turn on these things, Jesus Christ. Did I manage to dodge? Wow, that was really lucky. <laughs> I was not, like, fully paying attention there. <laughs> Let's use up another missile. This is probably going to be the last one that I use. Two more there. NGs are cyborgs. Why do they need oxygen? Because I feel like they would be too powerful if they didn't need oxygen. Man, that cloak is great. Jeez, look at that. Okay, I am being uh, attacked by a missile again. Is there anything I can do? I will slightly raise my evade. Everyone go back to your assigned places. Oh no, our shield is not fully online. Uh, I'm going to take damage from a missile. Oh my god, that was not too particularly smart of me. Why did I take damage from that missile? Now we're just utterly ripping apart everyone in that one room. Like, our ship is great at dishing out damage, but it's also great at taking damage. <laughs> like, I think it was, uh... Yeah, maybe I just gotta micromanage it a little bit more. I'm going kind of fast through these fights. Slow it down, slow it down. Um, backup battery four bonus power might be useful here. Or we could just do more regular power than that. I think I like that better. Yeah. Uh oh, my stream keeps like lagging out. Jeez. Internet. Sad internet issues today. All right, that's fine. It'll be back in a minute. All right, here we go. Back into our places. Places for the final part. Uh, forty-eight percent chance of dodge. Uh, ninety-eight percent oxygen in the ship. Not bad. Not bad. All right, I I think we're ready for the final fight now. I slightly lagged out there, so let's just give it a shot at this location. They got really close to the base. This is a very difficult one to track down the enemy on. Um, everyone is healed. Oh, wait a minute. No, I actually have to fight another fight before I get to the final battle? Never mind. I'm actually uh, slightly screwed here. But I can wait until I've seen that all of their systems are ready to shoot. Okay, this is very useful, combining sensors and the rest. Wait a minute, I'm... Why am I experiencing these types of shots at my ship? Oh, maybe did I need to wait one more jump to catch the main ship? Ah, I hate that. I think I messed that up. Horribly. Oh, they also have a Vulcan. That is quite crazy. Okay, since they just shot their missile, I'm going for this. Okay, let's shoot our own Vulcan at them. 
I might go in with one more Artemis here just because there is a lot coming at me. I actually think that this might be more difficult than the final boss battle in some ways. Oh no, that didn't work. Alas. Okay, now I'm going to save the rest of my... Nah, I just, I don't want to risk it. I, I want to make sure I stack up my firepower at the beginning, because you get stuff like that happen. Yeah, look, now we're already in bad shape. I might even just kill their whole crew. Jeez. Backup power. Forgot about it. Mm, uh, not much else to redirect it toward. I could jump out. No, I think I am going to just take them out here. I can definitely kill this ship. Although I'm not going to use any more lasers for it. Shoot their guns. I feel like I'm prioritizing all the wrong systems. Oh, thank God that missile missed me. <laughs> That's all we got for that? I, like, slightly messed up my jumps. Wait, they're just coming here. I totally messed that up then. Hang on a second. I'm going to just jump to our base, and then I have to come back to this place. I forgot that that's how that worked. I thought that since it was, like, moving toward it slightly, that meant it. We just took way more damage than we should have. That could have cost us a lot. Oh, well. Do we fight at the base, then? Wait at the base? Tau 87 also. Thank you very much for the prime. Does that mean we actually get some kind of, like, home field advantage? I don't think I've ever... I don't remember doing that. All right, then we will probably just end up waiting in that case. Should have done that before. Oh, well. What do we take, like, three damage from that fight? I get extremely... I play the game, like, super slow for the final fight, just to warn you. Like, I basically just shut everything off. Oh, you get the moral, the moral advantage? Okay. <laughs> Willing to live with that, I guess. All right. Um... Yeah, wait in the current position. Hmm, let me see. Uh, I think we have everything directed at the right spots. Let's go ahead and send everyone back to their correct positions. Uh, it still feels kind of... bad that we have only, like, what, 66% of our health? We will wait. We will wait again. Okay, here we go. Rebel flagship. Okay, they are going to hack us. We can't stop the hack. Stop the steal. <laughs> stop the hacking. Okay, I didn't do that right already. Uh, backup power. Should not have done that. Uh, and I'm probably going to end up using it in a second. Okay, they are going to hack our cloaking. So I'll just cloak immediately. <laughs> I mean, there's not much avoiding this I can do. As long as they don't get, like, your shields or your missiles. Cloaking isn't really what I wanted, though. Uh, I don't love that, but whatever, we'll live with it. Okay, the main thing that we want to get is to stop their missiles from killing us. So I believe that this is their missile section of their ship, and we will just shoot everything at that. Um... Actually, we want to take down the shield first. We just don't have that many auxiliary systems. I think we can then divert these to these systems. I wonder if this will totally shut down our cloaking then. In which case, I may have horribly messed up this fight if I did that wrong. Yeah, I mean, better than our weapons, though, to be fair. That's true. Let's just see if we can shoot our missiles directly at their missiles, because you the worst thing that can happen to you this in this fight is getting shot by one of their missiles. Which they just shot a barrage of missiles, okay. Okay, cool, we hit him. Just prevent them from breaking through our shields. Oh my god, that was the luckiest dodge of all time. Although we have, what, 51% dodge chance? <laughs> there was like a 10% chance of that. Uh, that's insane. I don't like that our shields are partially down. Okay, we can still cloak. That's insane. Jesus. Okay, we got really lucky here because we upgraded our cloak. Ah, nice. 
It's the 1% tipping the balance. This is one of the harder versions of this boss fight, so I am going to use... I'm going to keep Artemis. Uh, I may keep it. I don't know. We just want to kill the guy in that room. As soon as they shoot... No, okay. They're in hacking mode. Cool. Come on, Vulcan. Get through the lasers. Okay, I'm just going to start pausing and unpausing. Uh, okay, I think we've pretty much shut down their missile operation. I just have to kill the guy, so I'm going to go ahead and cloak so that we don't get ionized anymore. Okay, cool. We are... Uh, we have all but destroyed their missile. Bay. E I don't like this. I kind of want one more missile. Okay, we've killed the missile operator. We can go for the other sections now. I'm just going for their other guns that will actually do something. So let's go for their ions, then their lasers, then we'll go for the beam. Honestly, this ship was very good for the final boss fight. Maybe not any of the fights leading up to it, but for the final boss fight, it was a very good ship. This is turning out to be pretty easy. Holy shit. That's crazy. Oh, wow. How did we do that well? I don't even think we took a single damage. Okay, so now I follow him back um, to the other section, right? Oh, I haven't played FTL all this way through in a while. Now we attack them. Okay, so they're missing another one of their sections. Um, okay, so this is the big drone part. This can be one of the most difficult phases, so we need to be really careful in this one. We basically want to just utterly wreck their missile bay right away. Um, in a second, I'm going to turn on power to our backup systems. Oh, could we go and repair? I'm not sure if we can. Can we do it at the base? Hmm. If so, I was not aware of that. Hmm. The more you know. Okay, the defense drones, though. This is... I did it for more challenge. <laughs> no, I don't think you can do it at the base, right? No, I think you've got to go to the repair locations. Okay, do I turn them off? Uh, I'm still going to cloak when the missiles are coming. I'm just going to ignore the drones for a minute. Just because the missiles are the most deadly thing. Okay, they... That was actually a rather good room for them to go into. Um, Mantis Man, go. Keep your eye on their missiles. Okay, I think I'm going to put on backup power now. Lasers. I'm okay with lasers a little bit. Okay, those are some missiles. I'm turning on my cloaking. Ah, oh, I forgot to turn on the extra power before the last second. Ah. Uh, ah, okay, whatever. I'll just live with it. I mean, the, the point being that I avoided their missiles, and that's the worst thing that can happen. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of drones. Don't die. Don't die, don't die. Uh, maybe the 15 seconds extra cloaking would have saved me there. We're not in a very good position right now. There's way too many drones around this ship. What was that? Get down their missiles. Get down their missiles. Artemis, come on. Come on. Okay, Mantis, go into that room too. Even if you die, Mantis, it'll be worth it. Yeah, it's the drone swarm. That's the scariest part is when they send like 20 drones at your ship all together. A better missile would be good here. Please. Okay, we got down half of their uh, missile. Still, though, with the laser and the drone swarm up, I am scared. Okay, it is offline. Let's get down their drones next. Do they even have a Okay, they do have a drone section. Maybe I should have gone for that first, arguably, but whatever. Vulcan's now at max charges. Good. Drone's going down. Okay, I'm ignoring my crews. My crews. Where are my crews at? Med Bay does need power. Uh, I don't really have... I don't want to take any away from our evade or anything else, though. 
Okay, he will live and he will win. Those guys aren't really powering up any essential systems there right now, so that's okay. Get down that. Get down the drones. Okay, now we have power that we can distribute back to the mid bay. And we can potentially, for one second cloak if we need to, if we really get into trouble. Okay, I'm going to take power off of Artemis now because I don't think that it's going to be needed for the... Ooh. Hang on a second. I'm just going to cloak for a minute. I've got to charge back up our shields. Okay, cool. I think we won. Sweet. Basically taking down the drones. Oh, you're going to die. Don't die. <laughs> don't die. I know you're going to die, but don't die. Okay, great. Like, once we get through their shields and once Vulcan charges up, assuming that our ship isn't just in horrible shape, we win. Like, easy win. I think it will be an easy win. What do we have, two more phases to get through? I think we have, or is it just one more? Is it just the mind control? Whew. Um, oh my gosh, we have, <laughs> we have all these resources we could be doing something with that I'm not doing anything with. Uh... I think for the next one, we want super blast doors because that basically just wins us. Two more power for med bay. Yeah, the boarding phase is next. Um, piloting because it's the worst. I think just one level of piloting is good. I think either doors or backup battery for med bay. I'm kind of leaning toward doors. Just doors because assuming that they board in the right spots, we could basically just deoxygenate them. Um, and it, like, it's a very easy one. They will, I believe, mind control one of our crew members, though. Like, look at how strong the doors will be. Look at those doors. Doors. Rock doors. Oh no, they're going for the base. Uh, let's just leave and end it. All right, uh, let's see. Super weapon, this is it. Okay, so here they're going to mind control. Ooh, that is not a good guy for them to mind control. Ah, uh, that is like the worst system for them to mind control also. No, I don't like that at all. Okay, now here admittedly mind control would have been helpful. We need to take out that mind control really fast. Uh, that was awful. That might actually cost us the whole run. Fire smoke also, thank you very much for the sub. I will send... Yeah, the rock is actually a good choice because I don't want to send my Mantis in there because then he'll kill my NG crew member. We have to basically do this very fast. We need this NG crew member back. Let's also just try to shoot the missiles at that. This could be death. This could be death. Oh, and also the stream died. I'm just going to go through it on my own anyway. And they're boarding. Oh, God. Hang on a second. Okay, we are good. We're good. The rebels are destroying my internet. Okay, but they did board in a very opportune place. That is nice. That is actually kind of nice to see. Um, okay, anyway, I can save my cloak for when they do the next thing. Good thing that we have those good doors. I don't want to kill my own crew member. I just want to kind of like keep him at bay for a few minutes. Man, thank God that we have... Oh, Jesus. Oh, no! I totally missed that. That might have been a fatal error. Horribly. <laughs> well, I cloaked like a... Uh, I cloaked too late. Whatever. All right, I accept my mistake. Even if it gets me killed. Uh, why did I do that? I just didn't even see it because there were too many things going on. My internet died while the game died. Uh, that's not good. Um, okay, get away from the sensors. Who cares about the sensors right now? And I'm just going to open up these doors to try to take this thing out. This is horrible. This is the worst. This is usually such a peaceful fight. The last phase of it. Like, it's usually easy. Um, okay, we just need to do this. Uh, I don't like this at all. Okay, good. We have our crew member back. That's all, literally all I needed. Literally all that I needed. You two stay in there. Just defend him. You go in... Uh, actually, try to help the Mantis. 
I think we're fine. Okay, I think we're going to win, barely. I totally messed up the way I played this. I usually play this fight way more clean. Way more clean. They also got our cloak, too. Okay, just literally just get that. They still have the super weapon, though. I think just having a lot of shields saved us this time. Maybe not. We'll see. Still TBD. I'll get back to you on that one in a second. Uh, yikes. Okay, close half the ship. Just let that guy die of lack of oxygen, and... This one is okay. This area is okay, though. Okay, good. Backup power. I totally mismanaged this. I didn't even look at some of the things. <laughs> let this be my first run through back into FTL. <laughs> Uh, you get off of there, I need Shield Boy on the shield. The reason he's there is because he was hypnotized. Okay, good. I have disabled their missiles. I needed that desperately. I still think we're going to win, but I just won in a way more dumb way. Okay, good. That is over. I need this mind control thing to be over now, please. All right, good. Okay, the doors are closing again. Get in there quick. Good. Okay, you're getting your health care back. Will anyone die? No. Somehow I won. This was the worst way to win of all time. <laughs> the absolute worst FTL, like the most scuffed, just worst win. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever beaten the game with the Rock Cruiser. That was such a horrible fight. Don't do any of that. But somehow I won because we had really good RNG. Thank you very much. Ooh. And also I thought the internet went out at the end, but it was a good time. I love FTL. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, this is my... F this is like real roguelike gaming. This is the best roguelike. Uh, if you haven't played it, I do recommend you check out this game. It's very fun. We got some horrible score. I mean, way better than the last time because we didn't even win. But let's go ahead and just see. Now we've beaten the game. We have beaten the game as everything except for... Oh, wait. I didn't beat it with the Kestrel? You're kidding me. I totally have beaten it with the Kestrel. I don't... Maybe in like an old computer or something like that before it was out. Anyway, uh, I guess we have to go back and do that. There's a lot of them we still need to beat the game with. But that just means more replayability. And I love this game. I do recommend you guys try it out. Also, Coffee Mastery, thank you very much for the Prime. Um, not unlocked. Yeah, there's still a lot of ships I have yet to unlock. Um, I, I love this game because it's the game I can keep coming back to and it just has so much replay value. Look at all the replay value in it. Insane, insane. And I've still beaten the game only on easy. Well, actually on medium here. Oh no, that's type B, never mind. Whatever. It is very difficult and yet, like, rewarding roguelike. I am not very good at it by any means, but I enjoy it, and I hope you guys got something out of it.